We're going to go there with the orange wristband. <laughs> Is she here today? Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Then, okay, yes. Thank you for telling me. Yes, I'm sorry. I think I just answered your question. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I have great love for Michelle. She's, she's amazing. Um, she was, she, there was, she was so is, she's a goddess. <laughs> I mean, just her bearing, right? <laughs> her bearing, her intelligence, her grace, um, she was impeccable. Just impeccable, yeah. So I'm absolutely looking forward to, you know, kneeling down. Same thing. Combat training. Did you? Uh, can you describe what you had to do to prepare for? A lot, <laughs> but you know, as, as like I said, um, I've been doing that sort of thing for quite some time. Yeah. Um, I, I've done it with Hercules. I went through, you know. My kung fu foolishness training. Um, so by the time, I got, yes, kung fu um, So by the time we got to Serenity, I had I had you know done my three years on Hercules and Cleopatra, done wire work on that, I had trained with um, had trained with the stunt team uh, from both countries, U.S. stunt teams and Chinese stunt teams um, on Matrix, just cause. <laughs> that good to happen. <laughs> I'm like, what's she doing in the gym? Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, so trained with those guys. So by the time I got to Serenity, um, at, 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 at the risk of sounding obnoxious, it was easy. <laughs> I didn't, and I honestly didn't have as much to do as, as Summer um, or Nathan, but I remember uh, because I knew Chad, who, who did, who was the uh, stunt coordinator on Serenity, is also, and has had been Keanu's um, stunt double for years. So I knew Chad, and Chad knew me. Okay. And he was training everybody else who had had such extensive training, and I remember on the day that we shot that huge, um, he was like, yeah, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do that. And it, it's, it's choreography, it's just, you, you, once it's in your body, it's in your body. So on the day that we shot that, um, the morning before, like we were gonna shoot it in the afternoon and then that morning, he says, all right, come. <coughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> and he throws, he says, this is what we're gonna do. And he lines up seven stunt guys, because this is what we're gonna do. And he goes through it once and I go, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Got it. He says, all right, let's go through it. I said, okay. And so we, we, we did it. We went through it a couple of different times um, because that's just how my brain was functioning because it was, you know, it was, it was so, it was a very familiar language. And then we went and we showed it to Joss. And he went, oh. <laughs> um, can we give her two guys? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Because if I had taken out all of those, then you know it would make the made it, uh, the actual thing. Uh, summer's moment, <laughs> less momentous. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but it's it's fun. It, it's fun to be able to um, challenge yourself physically in that way. Um, it, you, you know you need a tremendous amount of focus because you're dealing with things that hurt when they make contact. <laughs> Um, you, you have to be very conscious of the space. You have to be conscious of the cameras that are around you. Um, uh, so I, I enjoyed it tremendously while it was happening. That's cool. Yeah. One, one quick question. You, um, you mentioned the Batman mask and all about the lips. Yes. <laughs> you didn't tell us who the reigning champion is. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I have to say. Val Kilmer did all right, <laughs> but Michael Keaton. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what that mask? There was something about that little overbite. <laughs> 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 Those little lips just under 
mean, that just worked. Right? Like, just, and George Clooney was a hot mess. That, there was no other lip. There was just, there was nothing that was like wrong. Just, just kept looking at that mask. And, um, uh, and then I would say Christian comes in at a good second. Yeah. Yeah, so that's... Okay. Yeah. Um, I think, I know, it's a, I have a thing. <laughs> Start being with orange. Hello. Oh, oh. Hi. Um, so, uh, yes. I grew up with you with Cleopatra 2525. You did. I did. <laughs> um, and just recently, I just found out you sang the theme song, and I'm just like, did you see? And I was like, oh my god. I didn't, I didn't see that. I thought you said Wikipedia said you did. You've been lied to. Oh, really? <laughs> I did not sing the theme song. Aww. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> could you? I could've. No, no, I know. I was like, you're singing. No, I don't remember the words. Oh, yeah. Can you hold that for me? This is funny. Sorry. Oh, my God. She was, she was the best friend. She was like the tall best friend who was beautiful and, and witty and had like, the, if you ever watch Mildred Pierce, yeah. she is Mildred's best friend and she is fantastic. And for the younger people in the audience, she's the principal at Rhino High. Hi. <laughs> That's who she grew up to be. Um, uh, so, you know, it's, it's sort of just the, the, a combination of all of these women who, who I grew up watching, who were a combination of, of intelligence and wit and uh, fearlessness. You know, Barbara Stanwyck is, a, is, is another one. You, you, you God, double indemnity. What? Um, uh, they were just so, um, they were emotionally fearless and and like I said, unapologetically in their female power. I like that. <laughs> All right, on that note. Unfortunately, guys, I'm getting the wrap. Oh, yeah. So give, give a cheer for Gina again. Yeah.